I fucking hate Detroit. And they keep sending me up there, man. And then they talk about I gotta go to Rockford. Yeah, no way tomorrow. Oh, we got 10 o'clock in the Man, look, bro. I, if, that's if I could make it out of Detroit. Boy, I, I kill me with that shit. Like, man. Sir, I'm not too sure if I could make it out of motherfucking Detroit, man. Like, that's some real shit. These motherfuckers, they can't drive. Like, there's something else in this motherfucker, man. That's why I said I gotta learn to not answer the phone for these motherfuckers. I was just next time, I don't have my shit on mute. So these motherfuckers, this, this right. Like, trucking, I've been doing this since for four years, and I should know better. I, I can't stand a dispatcher that never drive trucks. Because they look on the map, oh, okay, it's 30 miles away. You can make that 30 minutes. The whole time, you know, you got to deal with traffic, weather, fucking traffic. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this construction, that construction shit, it, it come out the killer blue. And then they always tell you, oh, GPS it. And they tell you everything. The GPS don't tell you where the construction at. Like, look, dude. Look, little man. I, I, I can't stand I hate them. I, I, I'm to the point, I hate this bus that don't, they never drive trucks. Because they just, like I said, they just look at the map. Oh, it's only 30 miles, miles away. So in their mind, it's 30 minutes away. Sometimes that's true, but that's perfect conditions. I'm talking about the shit gotta be sunny, no breeze, and they a motherfucking there's no no traffic and no construction. That's perfect conditions. Sometimes it's not. That means you know I drove about 500 miles today, and it's like, bro, it took me 14 hours because I had four stops in the way. But it, it, besides the point, it took me 14 hours, damn near 14 hours to do that, and I. I can't stand I, I be, I just, sometimes I wonder, like, what the fuck they be thinking about? And then they get mad, you know what I'm saying? That shit gonna get annoying real quick. So it's like, um, I be wondering why, like, what the fuck they be thinking about when they load me? Like, for real, right? Like, how the fuck, you, you really think I'm gonna make it in time for this shit? You really, you squeeze that shit in, bro. Like, for real. And I know this Rockford shit gonna be some bullshit. I just got a feather. It's gonna be some some fucking bullshit. I got a feather. But they say I got a waffle though. When I got a feather, it's gonna be some bull. It's only 35 miles away. I got a feather. It's gonna be some hot garbage in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. It never fails. Every time they they say they load me, there's something. Oh, it's nearby. Don't worry about it. It's nearby. It's gonna be some bullshit. And I last time they load me, and I had to go to this shit waste management. I ain't thinking nothing about it. Okay, so you know I'm about 15 miles away. This shit took me 30, no, it took me an hour to get there. 15 minutes away, traffic. And then I get there, and I forgot, you know, waste management is nothing but garbage. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. That really pissed me the fuck off, because now, then when I get there, everybody on break. It's cold in the motherfucker outside. It had to be like, it was like 15 degrees. 15 or 19 degrees, it don't matter because once it get under 20, that shit all feel the same. It is cold. That shit felt like a freeze outside. So it's like, dude, this truck here ain't shit because the shit you want it long enough, it, it cuts the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Because they make you use your block heater and that shit kick on. That shit kick on like an hour. You be in that motherfucker freezing until an hour later and shit. That this like Bob, you trying to tell motherfuckers like this truck and shit, man. They, Okay, they, like people are saying, all you do is drive and all you doing is drive. Oh man, it's more than that, man. I'm kid you kids or not. That's just a little bit more than that. Because you got to deal with, then you got you to gotta bite your motherfucking tongue when motherfuckers talk crazy to you. I mean, they don't talk crazy, like curse at you, but it, you know how people be. They like, that would be talk, being sarcastic and shit. And you, like you dumb or something. Like, man, I know what the fuck you're saying. But you know, I'm thinking about my child and I don't want to lose my guy job because. If it was the old me, I swear, man, I be, I be thinking to myself, like, man, you lucky you got a 32 on me, because you got me about, i say about a decade ago, I probably stopped to taste out your mouth, and thought about then trying to um, rack up some bond money, because I know I'm going to jail. I, mean, I would stop the dog shot you, and probably beat the dog shot you, probably, you know, in the chances I feel I'm going to jail. If I'm going to jail, I'm going to make it work for a while. If I'm going to jail, I might as well go to jail for a reason, man, just whoop your ass, dude. 
gonna get what happened out there. Because if I go to jail, I gotta go to jail for a reason. I'm not gonna go to jail for no, you know, just slapping the dogs out of you. I think this stuff, it's just such, that's our sarcastic shit. I, man, that bothers me, man. That really do. That really does get under my skin. And no damn well, I gotta bite my motherfucking tongue. You know, because it's like the only thing I, I tell my mom and I tell my dad, like, look, man, the only reason why I stayed in this job so long was my child. That my child makes me, like, it makes me a better me. Because if I didn't have him, I swear to God, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably be, I'll fuck a couple people up. My child make me walk away, like, I can't go to jail because I know his, uh, no, my BM ain't shit, but, you know, I laid with her, so that's my fault. So it's like, you know, that's my fault, you know. You gotta, I, I gotta do something, you know what I'm saying, because he get 18, and I go to jail, he shit all up. The, the BM ain't on, ain't on shit, man. But I gotta do something for, for shorty, man. I gotta make sure he's right, you know what I'm saying. That's why I, I gotta get my hair cut, cause this shit itch. Every five fucking minutes, this motherfucker itch. I think I got fleas. I swear to God, I need to get my motherfucking hair cut. Cause this motherfucker here itch. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Oh shit, start an itch and shit? Nah, I'm cool. And you, I, I wash my hair for the, put the, you know, the fiber ointment in my head and shit. And that shit ain't still itch, motherfucker. Shit, I got nigga hair. This, this it is what it is. Got motherfucking nigga hair. You know what I'm nigga hair itch. So, I mean, I can't say that because I never have any other hair. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not about to get any other hair. Then I'm going gray. That's some bullshit too. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. You know, be a gray head motherfucker. Long as my line don't look like Stephen A. Smith. We're not. I love watching Steve Nation, but that man lying, boy, I, I was just thinking, like, just cut that shit off, bro. Like, might as well just give it up, bro. Like, it would be like Charles Brock and Kenny Spill for Shaq, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with LeBron, bro. LeBron need to get that motherfucker chopped the fuck off. You bogus. He, he bogus as hell for having that shit on his fucking head like that, man. And then I remember he tried to... But spray paint the shit under the head. I mean, I, I look at the NBA like, man, you gonna chop that shit off and just go ball. Kobe did it. Motherfucker, Michael Jordan did it. They knew they was this shit. I just think, I, I personally think that, like, great players, great players go ball. I mean, it's like Carl Malone, you know, like, like Tim Duncan and say this shit real low. He, you know, he ain't trying to go for the Okie though. But on some real shit, like, great, I, I just feel like, like right, great players go ball. You 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 can't be a great player if you don't start go ball. It's up with Paul Pierce and T Mac, you know, and Sky Pippen and people like that. Downey Wilkins and you know, I I can keep naming. I just don't feel like it. I don't give a fuck. But 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 majority of the motherfuckers go go ball. You know what I'm saying? So it's like LeBron, just give it up. You know what I'm saying? Give it up. It's over. That line and go, you, he ain't had line in high school, man. Right, boo, man. Let's give it up. Oh, man. I was missing to say, the Houston Rockets tweaking. For real. Them motherfuckers tweaking. They gave away Clint Capella to the, the Hawks. They, man, I heard that shit. I said, oh, they, they lost. They, it's over with, bro. Hey, what the fuck? I hope they got a, a backup plan like they trying to get some free agents. Ain't nobody good in free agents. There's no big man. Ain't no big man that's good. But shit, what the fuck you get Roy Hibbert? That motherfucker ain't been good since 2007. Hey, right, man, please. Hey, the hell are you thinking about? I was, I'm sitting there wondering, like, what the fuck is they thinking about? And then, because, you know, James Harden and Russell Rushbrook need the ball. And then they going to jack up a ton of shots. Who going to rebound? And I pray to God they don't face the, the, the ch they chances they don't face it to they don't face it to people because they not going past the Jazz. They not going past. They, oh, the Lakers dead because nobody gonna stop LeBron. P PJ Tucker, he a nice player. Don't get me wrong. Powerful as far as it goes with him. But center? Oh no, we, 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 you got you, okay. You got the season. 
the, you got the season, y'all went 11 and 1. So y'all decide, Mike, then Tony, Tony need to get fired. Like, dude, man. Dude was like a, like football, he a, a good offensive coordinator. He, he great on offense, but defense? Man, shit. He can't, he can't design a good defensive play to save his fucking life. I don't know what's up with folks. Like, dude, coach. Do cold on offense. That's all I can say. Right there, Tony's a good. Look, okay, look. The last teams he, he coached, the Phoenix Suns, they was good, but none of them stick defense. That's why they couldn't get past the Spurs or the Lakers. You know, mind you, and I honestly felt that the Phoenix Suns was better than the Spurs, and I'm a Spurs here at the time. Now I'm not, because, man, they got to get rid of the Rose and Lamar Harkins. I just, I just get rid of the whole team. Just tank. Fuck it. I don't, yeah, Greg Popovich, like, I'm a Greg Popovich fan because I'm not a Spurs fan. And damn sure I'm not a Bulls fan. Because, I mean, the Chicago people are not, might not like this, but I don't really give a rat's ass. I can't, be a, I can't be that loyal that long. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gave Jimmy Butler up for crumbs. We didn't get shit in return. Like, we got Zach Levine. Everybody say, oh, we got Zach Levine back. Oh, okay. All right. We got Lori Marketing. All right, there ain't no Jimmy Butler. He, he, that's not Jimmy Butler. Then we gave away Derrick Rose. That's when I, when the, you know, yeah, you know, that really kind of pissed me the fuck off. Like we gave away Derrick Rose. I'm like, he hooping now in Detroit. You're like, do you notice? Know like, Derrick Rose never goes to a team that's far away. He gonna go into Minnesota, Cleveland. Oh, he did. He went to the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, but it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Still the East Coast. But he was like, mainly, he, but like him, I would go to the Milwaukee Bucks. That's so close to Chicago. It's, it's fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know until I started driving this shit here in the, for this company. But I, if I was there, well, shit, fuck it. I'll go with the Greek Freak. And to be a pants off the Greek Freak, we gonna win, I'm going to win the chip. Fuck them, look, fuck the Bulls. Fuck them. Fuck them. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. All right, they, like, they, like, I don't get it. Like, they will have, they have a chance, a shot of being the number one team, the number one seed. They could get the number one draft pick. But soon they get a, they like, oh, you know, we finna get a number one draft pick. These motherfuckers want to play hard. What? Oh, we got a shot to play off. No, you don't, motherfucker. You don't have no shot to play off. Well, get the number one draft pick. Like, like. Like the New York Knicks, I talk to my brother all the time. Like they get mad at like James Jordan. They, you know, the New Yorkers get mad at the, at the motherfucker, at the motherfucker. They they own it. They get mad at they get mad at and mad at mad at the owner James James Jordan. What the fuck the dude name is? But at least the Knicks try. At least they get somebody. At least they try to get somebody. Like the last free agency, you know what I'm saying? At least they consider of getting Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. The Bulls, we didn't even talk about, we didn't even try to get Kevin Durant and uh, Kyrie Irving. We didn't even try to get them. No, we got Thaddeus Young. Who the fuck? Thaddeus Young ain't been good since the Sisters. Like, on some real shit, I'm a big basketball head, so I know of quite a few. Like, they ain't, the, like, they ain't been good since, they ain't been good since the Sisters, bro. And we got him? Really? Like, 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 if, correct me if I'm misinformed. LeBron and Dwayne Wade and Carmelo supposed to have went to the Chicago Bulls. But the Bulls told LeBron, the greatest player, arguably all time, arguably, because you know, I'm a Chicago, so Michael Jordan, he can't never top Michael Jordan. I don't give a fuck what he do. He can't top Michael Jordan. But he's arguably the greatest player all fucking time. You told this man he can't wear a headband. You fucking serious? What? what? And y'all might not pay him nothing. Y'all ain't paid Michael Jordan shit to the last two years. Y'all ain't paid no boy shit. How the fuck, motherfucker? You was about to pay Tony Kukos more than Mike. <laughs> what type of stupid shit is the organization? And man, Chicago fans go to Chicago. I went to Chicago Bulls one game this year and saw the Houston, Houston Rockets. I saw my team, well, my hometown team. This ain't my team. I, I pick and choose. I pick winners. I don't give a fuck. 
I, you call me, oh, you disloyal, right? You, you motherfucker, you, you, you disloyal. Look, man, I'm not finna, no, man. Hey, it, it, look, man, we've been garbage for them a, a decade, if not a decade. We've been garbage, like garbage. You know what I'm saying? We play like trash. We get rookies we don't we don't know about. Like, I'm scared to get number one seed. Like, if we got number one seed, we probably got we probably got um we would not got John Morant, we would not got R.J. Barrett, we would not got motherfucker uh, Zyra Wilson. We would got somebody from like Afghanistan somewhere, and I'm not sure they play basketball out there. You know what I'm saying? You probably got them. And talking about, oh, drop them in the number one seat and, and be surprised and maybe all shot that he a bust. Like, like the Bears. I'm not a Bears fan. It's they're so bad that I jumped ship and went to the Green Bay Packers. How blasphemy is that? I went to the Green Bay Packers. I would shoot, I would I would I would cheer for Aaron Rodgers. I'd be a cheese here before I cheer for the Bears. Because how you you pass on Patrick Mahomes and Saquon Broccoli for Mitch, and you trade it up for Mitch. I mean, come on, like, all right, this, it, or, it, or it, I think the sign Washington too, man. I think we trade uh, pass on the sign for the the sign Washington too. I think we pass on him. Like, we 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 really did that. Like, and then surprise, he's a bum. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we shot? We really it's down is that he's a bum. Re, re, you really kidding me? They, they be shot. Like we traded Jimmy Butler for it. Quote me if I'm wrong. Zach Levine. I did Carmen Payne in a first round draft pick. Now two of them was I. Right. Zach Levine is pretty decent. He was deep, actually a decent player. Uh, and Lloyd Markman, you know, when you get, it, you know, we get a better GM because fire jumped to Jim Passing because he don't know what the fuck he doing. And fire the coach. Just fire them. Just fire them. You know what I'm saying? See, personally, me, I would hire somebody like Isaiah Thomas just to be the president because he's from Chicago. Even though he was a bad boy, he's from the, he, he played for the Pistons, but he could, he could have helped that. He got drafted to the Pistons. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I would try, I would get, John Paxson as the as a GM. And for coach, believe it or not, I would get Tim Hardaway. Or somebody or Nick Anderson or somebody. Because he from they from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? They would really care about Chicago. Somebody that really cared about Chicago, I put them in Chicago. Now, I don't know what coach we got. I'm so far gone over the over the Bulls. And kind of pain, I went to the Bulls game after they traded Jimmy Butler. They had the nerve to put Carmen Payne. A, a picture of him right next to Jordan. I was fucking shocked. Like, you motherfucker. I, man, I wasted. I, and then we got blown. I, for, I forgot. We, I think we was going against the Lakers. And the garbage Lakers at that before LeBron. The garbage Lakers got our ass whooped. Today, I mean, this year, I went to get the Houston Rockets. I knew it was a big blowout. I came to see the other team. That's how bad it is. It's to the point, I don't, I don't know why. And then the stadium was jam-packed. Everybody was there. I said, man, look, we need to boycott this shit. Ain't no way in the fucking world it should be jam-packed like this. It should be like four or five, four or five people. I'm talking about you should park, you know, park on the lot and back, and then the tickets is high. I said, why the tickets are so goddamn high? We just watching the Bulls lose. That's all we fucking seeing. Like, ain't no way in the fuck is they going to get to the playoffs. Like, that's no way. Because if the Sixers is the Sissy, I can't imagine what the other two is. The Bulls show ain't it. Yeah, they all say every year, every year we in a playoff hunt. So they're going to try their best. Look, man, tank. Tank. They work for the Sixers. You know what I'm saying? And the Sixers, the taking season for the Sixers to not last that long. Because every time they, they drive ben, ben Simmons. Ben Simmons first year, he got hurt. Then all of a sudden, they drive to, you know, but MB was first. But they dropped MB, he got hurt. Then they dropped Ben Simmons next. He got hurt. Then Markel Folks. He couldn't lift off his motherfucking on white arm. Still don't know what the fuck that was about, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Two each his own. So you know what I'm saying?
so it's like it is what the fuck it is. So can't can't get, get mad at him. You know what I'm saying? For, for being hurt. You know what I'm saying? I can't get mad at them. But look at them. It's just they they look they look like championships right now. Okay, better example. Besides the sisters, because somebody else did the same thing, did, did, but did not take. But actually, they call a lick. You know, they call a stain. The the Celtics, they the the Celtics call a stain. You know, because that whatever that black dude, he made he he was like he really he really kind of made stain on the black the black culture because he. I'm getting over here. I'm getting over here. Yeah, you know, cut it funny. I'm getting over here. So it's like I don't understand it. Because like the Celtics, they build they build their shit from the ground up. Jason Tatum, they dropped Jason Tatum, they, they dropped it, they dropped the total Terry Rozier, they dropped it uh Jaden Brown, you know what I'm saying? And, Jay, and Terry Rozier and like like and I know come on brother, I wanna hire Michael Jordan for my GM. No, no. You ain't seen the Charlotte Hornets? You don't see that team? Oh that team fucked. Oh that team, I don't know what the fuck is Michael Jordan. Mark, what the fuck? Like you let Kim a, Kim a Walker go for nothing and sign Terry Rozier. I mean, he ain't a bad player, right? But I would not sign him with that much money. He, he, you know, he had that one playoff. He did, I right, with another playoff. But that much money, man, that mother get paid damn near what sixteen sixteen million dollars a year. I would not trade him for. I would not trade him for that much money. Man. That's a lot of money for that for folks, right, man? But uh, Devontae Graham, I ain't know who the fuck he is, but he hooping over there. That little boy hooping. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, and, you know, tank. Like, play hard, act like you're playing hard, you know, so you won't get fined. Act like you're playing hard, but make sure you lose. I'll lose that game. I mean, I'll, you know, the games you can win, win it. But if you, you know you're gonna lose, lose. I, I look, man, Chicago, we depressed over out here, man. Oh, I say, at least New York type, uh, try. At least New York try. They trash. Oh, New York trash. But, but at least they try. They got Julius Randle. He's a, a decent player. You know what I'm saying? He, I compare him to like a Zach Randolph. He's like a Zach Randolph kind of, kind of a player. Then you got, they got our Bobby Porter that showed when the first. The, First game he came back to the Bulls, he showed out on it. I think he scored, showed out and scored like 35 points. And I think that was stupid to get rid of him too. I would sign this ass back. His bubble ass, bubble that ass. I would sign this ass back because he actually a decent, a pretty decent player. You know what I'm saying? A pretty decent player. He's not that really that bad. I would sign this ass back. But no, this is the Bulls we're talking about. Okay. 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 That's what we're doing out here. Okay. Uh, I can't get over it. Okay. I'm about to say it. I can't get over it. Y'all so damn thirsty to get around me. I can't get over it. Oh, well, you got you got an edge, so I, I understand. But these fools here, that, that be pissing me the fuck off. Okay, but. Alright, Detroit, man. Alright, even Detroit try. Even, even Detroit try. Detroit try all the time. They got Blake Griffin. He just injury from drumming. Uh, Reggie Jackson. They got something to be, you know, hang their hat on. You know, they just got the wrong coach. Me, I'll, for that situation, I'll hire my uh, Stan Van Gundy. Like, even though they tried, but, you know, Stan Van Gundy, I'll, you'll put it into the White Howard system. I mean, you got to put shooters around. Um, all shooters. All shooters around um, drumming. And a uh, and a point guard, and an elite point guard. That's it. That's all. That's all you need. And you might need a, like a elite, elite small four, you know, to carry the load. That's it. But you, no, I would not put a best of point guard. That one, I would not do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would not do that shit because um, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, they was like, you know, they was cool. You know, so that was that was pretty decent right there. That, that, you know, they need each other. It's obvious. It's kind of plain to see. And then Blake Griffin, once his contract up, he got to take a pay cut. He's injury prone. Nobody going to pay you. It's over Michael Jordan. Now, Michael Jordan, I believe he'll pay your ass. Yeah, I think he pay anybody. I, mean, I don't know. I, I really not control Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? That That is... 
Uh, that, that really, I don't know. But the Houston Rockets, especially the point of Houston Rockets, they trade away Clint Capella. And you gonna put PJ Tucker? He's six six. Like what he could, what the what the most he could do to a seven a seven footer? I pray to God he they don't go against the Jazz first. I mean, I'm not a Jazz friend because I don't think I think Donovan Mitchell he got a lot to prove to me. I'm not really sold on Donovan Mitchell. I'm, I'm not really sold on, 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 on Rudy Gilbert. I'm not really not sold. They got, I mean, they really got a nice, they got a lot of talent. Don't get me wrong, they got potential. But I really is not sold on that shit yet. I'm gonna be 100. I'm not sold on Jazz yet. Not yet, you know. They got some big pieces over there, Jordan Carson. You know, God, but it is in the tank too. Because they need to get rid of Kevin Love. Man, I, I hate my boy, my, my, my white boy to go down like that, man. Because Kevin Love, he don't need to be in that, in that, that trash. He playing around, he just, they, but it's his fault too, because he be signed. But he be signed thinking LeBron and come back. I would've got, Kyrie got, man, if Kyrie Love, I would, it's old way. Donnie C is old way. I mean, man, I got the fuck about that. There ain't no way in the fuck I was saying that bullshit right there, man. Ain't no way in the fuck I was saying that shit. That shit, man, he got a point guard. A point guard. This is the second year. That's averaging two assists. Man, this nigga a good. Oh, no. He's not all that good. He's a developer. You know what I'm saying? He's a developer. He's a developer. All right. I see. I mean, high five. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. But, you know where the hell. You know where the hell. Okay, it's right down the street. I can get the fuck off this fucking road. I'm hungry. I'm gonna pop ass. Oh, I got 24 minutes. Oh, shit. I got 24 fucking minutes. <laughs> but he's not made it this time. Maybe. Man, I, I don't wanna keep talking about because I don't have a good time talking about basketball. But these motherfuckers, man, why you would do that? Now, why you would do some shit like that? I'm getting over his merch. Like, what the fuck? Fucking idiot, right? But but at least I'm all, I'm out of Detroit, so I got like six hours still. Got six hours still, so there ain't no 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 five hours. That's six hours. Oh, because it's two over there. It's two in Central Time. I'm in Eastern Time. Yeah, it's six hours. I got all six hours, so I stop. I I, I get up about two. I'm gonna get up at two. Fuck that. I'm gonna go to sleep. I got up today at 12. I'm talking a fucking morning. I worked 14 hours today. I hate when they do that shit. I work, man. I'm to the point, I hate when they do that shit. They, they tell me, they tell me all the time, we just trying to make you get, make the most money you can. Yeah, but don't, Squeeze another thing, and knowing that well, it's hard for me to get home. Cause I, cause it's hard for me. I don't, I don't like sleeping in people, people lots in Detroit. I don't like sleeping that shit, man. Cause I would get about four or five sleep, four out, four hours of sleep tops. And I'd be so fucking nervous. Cause they be, they book me in the middle of the fucking hood in Detroit too, man. They, they be blowing me with that shit. Like man, these motherfuckers here, man. They be walking past. And then it's so it's fucked up because I got a fucking sleeping beauty sleep on beauty rest on top of my semi shit. So it's like, man, bro, like, do you know these mother? They got killers walking around, and shit. And then if they decide to rob this truck, I let them take it. I'm not gonna fight for this this truck. I give a fuck. I said, shit, I don't give a fuck. I don't got no family no more in Detroit, so I got nobody to call. But I will find my way home. I got enough money to find my way home. I guess I guarantee you that. I'm not, not, not finna fight for shit. Kiss my ass. I'm not finna fight for shit. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. You be so fucking mad at me when they take the shit. And I was gonna be looking at you like this. The fuck you think I'm gonna fight? What do you think? Oh yeah, it's right here. But you think I'm really gonna fight for this damn truck? You kiss my ass. The back of my ass. Make sure you get all the crackers and the shit stains. You guys gonna get all that because I'm not gonna fight the shit. Mm -mm. 
give a fuck. We can have all that shit. Shit, shit I got in this truck is material. I ain't got nothing but water. Shit, I, I know I stay hydrated. Shit, and the beef jerky. That's the fuck I, I don't got shit. And I'm broke. So I just got enough money to get home. I'm broke as shit. That's why I'm starting this YouTube shit. Now I'm happy for my cousin. You need to talk to people. You know, I'm a, ang I'm a very angry person. So you need to talk to people. I said, you know what? I'm going to talk on the internet. Fuck it. I talk to myself eight hours a day anyway. So I might as well get paid for the shit. Why are you talking to myself? Why well, I'm talking to myself? Shit, right now I'm talking to myself. I'm just getting recorded. I don't even give a fuck. I'm crazy. I don't give a fuck. And I'm, I ain't had Popeyes since fucking July. Cause the little rinky dink ass place I'm living in don't have. How you sell? How you Popeyes? You sell chicken, but don't have no chicken. That we, man, that pisses me off. Every time I go there, how the fuck you sell chicken, but don't have chicken? What the fuck? How you Popeyes? I be wanna, I be scratching my head sometimes and wonder how the fuck you still open. But that don't make sense. It don't. It just don't. It don't. I'd be confused. Like, you, you sell chicken, but don't have chicken. You don't even have a chicken. That motherfucker. Oh, you sell with thick ass glasses, bro. Fam glasses. See into the future, bro. Glasses are so damn thick. I mean, all these will be driving a semi with glasses that damn thick. Oh, look at this motherfucker. I'm talking about the other motherfucker with thick-ass glasses. This motherfucker got thick-ass glasses. God damn. You don't, man, if you can't see a goddamn thing, don't drive this motherfucker. You got to get prescriptions that your layers about this damn thick. Man, god damn, bro. I'm talking about dude, the second dude, he turned, his glasses was thicker than the Holy Bible. You know how thick that shit is? Like, that damn. Like, bro, like, you need to... Nah, bro. Nah, my man. I'm, I'm parking out. I'm parking. I'm parking. Yeah, they got parking spots. Hey, I got a lot of them. Oh, shit. I ain't see that. I'm about to run this motherfucker, too. I'm about to run and shot this motherfucker. I'm finna hop in the motherfucking shower because Lord knows I need one. Uh, that's it. That's all. Yeah. That's it. That's all.